Yes, sister. Same principle may apply to, to uh, movie theaters. The principle applies to movie, movie theaters and video games. As long as they don't uh, keep you away from your mom, as long as they're not against Quran. Well, I mean, the, 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 that is the, the Quranic principle. Uh, the, that's, the, that's the most important point. If you, if you have a movie which deals with life, but does not create any kind of temptation or does not in any way plant seeds of disobedience to Allah. I mean, why do you, even in America, liberal as America is, why do they have parental guidance? PG, why do they have that? Because there is the belief that some of the contents are harmful to children. As a Muslim, you should be able to have Muslims who can preview and say, this is not good for our people. And they don't have to watch the movie. They read the book. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to watch the movie because the movie gives you audio visual, which is more destructive than the printed word that you read. Now, if the book is haram, that book shall not be, if it is captured in music, I mean, in movie or musical form, it's haram, it's not acceptable. Well, you see, the, the, the problem for the Muslim kids is that they live in a society where they are a minority. And the people who control Hollywood, they don't believe in anything anyway. Yeah. And that is the tragedy that Hollywood screenplay writers and directors do not believe in anything, but their target audience believe in something. So you become a hostage to these people in Hollywood. Now if you have people who are Islamically conscious or who are Christians or committed Christians and Jews, and they screen out of those movies some of the things that you now see as legitimate items in the film industry, then of course Muslims will have no problem. Once upon a time, America was like that. But today, what we call the secular humanists control the movie industry in America. And they are the ones who do the programming. So for that reason, if you're a Muslim, you want to watch the souls, you are a hostage to them. You see what I'm saying? That's the dilemma. Now, unless you have alternative movies made by small filmmakers who are Muslims, and there are people who are doing that. And these are not only people who believe in God. There are people who don't believe in God, but they don't like what they consider Hollywood junk. You see what I'm saying? And they try to create their own movies for their limited audiences, even though they don't believe in God. But they have taste that is different from the Hollywood taste. This is the dilemma we face in America, that uh, even though the Hollywood movie makers are exercising their right to do what they want, there is not sufficient competition from the other side. Now, if you look at the Christian groups, some of the conservative Christians are beginning to make movies. And they even have musical forms to satisfy their own audiences. They call it Christian music, Christian film making. Oh yes, they're doing it right now. You see, and they have their own Christian station. Because they know that Hollywood is dominated by people who don't believe in anything. And if you live in the United States, you are faced with that situation. Now, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I answered this question. You know, I'm talking about the music that is not dunyaistic. That's one of the reasons why you have Christian music and people are buying those records by the millions. Because you are a Christian, you don't want to listen to some of these uh, so-called gangster rap and all kinds of weird kind of music. So you want to listen to music that entertains you, you feel happy, you enjoy it, without being poisoned. Because we are human beings. We are susceptible to what we hear. After a while, we get conditioned by that. You see what I'm saying? We are human beings. So I mean, you now for that reason, we don't want, that's why Muslims entertain us, and there are some Muslims, by the way. You know, you know, have Muslims now who are trying to create music for Muslim audiences, just like you have Christian groups that are playing for Christian groups. Muslim, there are Muslim groups that are now trying to create music that is acceptable 
So, and that doesn't introduce satanic tendencies or dunyaistic tendencies among Muslims. This is our choice. We have a choice. You live in America. I mean, you go to the supermarket, you don't buy haram food. You see what I'm saying? You do the same thing in the entertainment world. The same principle, the same logic. If you can go into a supermarket, grocery store, and walk away without any haram food on your basket, you can do the same thing. It's more difficult in the entertainment world because you have limited choice. But that's the reality Muslim face. And we just have to pay that attention.